Managari Bay's oil paintings focus on everyday people and places, truthfully portraying them and leaving out the glamour most Philippine artists add to their work. It is the richness of the poor I am drawn to and wish to impart through my art, he says. Mani's artistic journey began in multicultural Davao, where he was raised and discovered his early interest in art. He went on to nurture his love for painting as a student at the University of the Philippines. In 2000, he received the prestigious 13th Artist Award from the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Tell us, on your personal mm -hmm. basis, uh, what do you think art is? This is the expression of human creativity, you know, uh, striving its utmost to uh, reach a level of mastery and perfection. No, it's a craft. What do you think uh, should be done about the, this role of art today in society? It's very artists. important for the artist to be aware of what's going on no? and to also be aware of the potency of art. You start thinking beyond yourself and more uh, in the long term and then you realize that some ideas may have been started you know, generations ago and is only starting to be relevant and uh, have an impact on society now or later. When you have a place that showcases uh, the arts by artists in a given locality, it makes them see themselves you know, uh, in ways that the artists see themselves also. Art always has this drawing effect. It, it makes people come and see it and uh, make, uh, and, and, and any good art will always make people think, will always make people uh, reflect. And uh, it's always something that will be uh, embedded in their consciousness. It will have an effect on them uh, no matter what, especially on the younger people. So when that happens, you start creating a culture. No, that's how it goes. Liri Salvador is known for sculpture assemblages that entice viewers to reach across the institutional wall that divides them. His works are much like products of an alchemist, which ingeniously fuse the decorative and functional arts as well as the transformation of ordinary objects into a whole new artifact. Uh, Lirio has become famous about his uh, sculptural assemblages. Now, would you please tell us how he came up with such an art? When he was in college, so nag start siya. Dahil uh, sa pag sa desire niya na makagawa ng musical instrument, he was inspired actually by uh, street musicians. So nakita niya merong isang polubi na nagpiplay siya ng music. Gawa lang siya sa gourd, tapos yung my stream na uh, homemade instrument lang. Ang available na materials are those mga junk materials. Yes, yung sa mga so junk, oo. Oh. So doon nag-start yun. So kung ano yung available doon sa kanilang lugar, yun yung ginubuo niya. Uh, yes, so so fond of electronics. Na, ano yun? Atin ang pinag-aralan na talaga yun? Ah, yung electronics, uh, self-taught lang yun. Aaral siya sa TUP. So, nag-enroll siya sa ibang subjects na hindi naman nakaline up do sa fine arts. A lot of people know what happened to him, di ba? Uh, he figured in an accident. Now, uh, I'm very much curious now, how did it affect his life and his art? By the way, na hit and run pala si Leo yung yes, motorcycle. Uh, and then after that, na operahan siya sa kanyang brain. According to the doctor, actually, uh, parang miracle lahat nung nangyari sa kanya. Hindi rin nila akalain na makakabalik pa siya yung, yung physically. Dati kasi talagang parang gulay na siya. Ang prediction sa kanya parang mabubuhay siya pero parang vegetables. Yet, there is more than experimentation with art, principles, and elements in Lirio Salvador's sculpture assemblages that combine visual and sound forms. Now, we have the honor of knowing about the life and works of a master artist from Cavite when my city, my SM, my art returns.